I can, I don't know. Anyway. Wow. Well, thank you for that little bit of lore there, Slack. Did That's you great. know that if you ask uh, somebody if they're a policeman, they're legally obligated to tell you? I did know that. That's it's, a it's, lie. It's worked in my favor never. Yeah, that is because actually not true. it's not true. true. That's right. room. We've got a war room. Let's go. Last game of the night. What do we got? Clockwork. Clockwork. Oh. For Navi. Oh. They bench roll themselves. Okay. Oh. They wanted. They wanted to stay away from it. They're like, this is too easy. We wanna. We gonna actually. We need a challenge heroes. for our final. Our final game tonight. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like let's, it. Let's. Let's do that. So we've got a. What is that? Mag Terra Blade banned out uh, by EPG. Okay. Do they take the Shadow Fiend Clockwork? Ah, elements copying Navi's strat. Same picks. They're like, this was good. This this was great. This we're gonna. This well, worked. I, I feel like we're missing something, though, guys. It's uh, almost like we're missing the troll that just brings everything together. They take the Jakiro. <laughs> Whoa! Old Jackie. Oh my God, it's Dragonheart and Sith. It's Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> it's the last dragon. He's back. <laughs> He's got two heads. <laughs> oh, now see, that would have been a good sequel. <laughs> <laughs> Turns so, out that dragon was a Hydra. We've been seeing this opener a lot, <coughs> huh? Here, yeah, the and clock we started hero. And Every here team. at Star Ladder, everyone's been running it like all over the place now. It's just this is the new thing, guys. Yeah. Come see your pub soon. spoken to inmate. The Shadow Fiend now <laughs> banned out. <laughs> okay. Anyway. All right. So uh, what are we thinking? Brax, OD, Pixel, are we live over there in the war room? What's happening? We're doing great. Oh, yeah, <laughs> doing yeah, great. Great. <laughs> I like the uh, yeah. dragon story. The dragons. Oh, thank you, Brax. Thank you. It's nice to, that you know things, that you like things. I yeah. like your analysis of Toby and LD's uh, sound bites. Thank you. That was <laughs> that was wonderful. <laughs> thank you. Well, that's Toby. <laughs> <laughs> I like that Toby quote. <laughs> anyway, oh, uh, okay. so drafts Lycan taken out okay. and Shadow Fiend. Of course, you can't have that Cog combo. You can't have that aggressive. Uh, Lycan coming in with the Dark Seer pick that's coming up next. I, I like the Elements. Lycan ban. It, it was the hero that allowed Elements to secure their one and only win in this group stage. So Woo! Navi are covering their bases. They did their research. Well, they bet out Legion Commander. Hmm. Hmm. Might they pick a Bat Rider? Could they pick a Bane? I think they're just going to pick Slark again. <laughs> I think they actually would. Darkseer Slark first. Yeah. Darkseer first, please. We have to hide yeah. that Slark pick. Darkseer was third pick last game. Mm -hmm. And he's made it all the way through again. How much do you know about this? This is where you content. just like pick your favorite heroes, right? Slark, Swift Ending, of course. Sure. But what else? Oh, oh right. it's Darkseer. the Darkseer. Yes. Oh, I'm psychic. Hey, please invite me to TI. Bam. Well, <laughs> they played it last game. Didn't work for him so well. I'll have another go. Yeah. Good pressuring oh. with the Spirit Breaker. Yeah, Ion Shell on Spirit Breaker is pretty nasty. That's true. Mm. You could also vacuum enemies into their allies' cogs. Think about that one. What's now it? now you're really thinking slacks. Now <laughs> that is a wombo combo. All right, Nyx Assassin for <laughs> Na'Vi. Uh, Just the, the response to Darkseer, uh, it Great seems. choice. Uh, yeah, uh, worked uh, well for Na'Vi last game. No reason not to change that. Now, remember, they did do the, the kind of aggro dual lane, and they had the safe lane Nyx with General, so he had a, a lot of space. Yeah. Wonder if uh, that's something they might be considering again. Yeah, I think they have a little more liberty now. They see Rubik's Spirit Breaker, not the two strongest uh, support duo, kind of in a way. If you put, like, the Nyx Jakiro up there to contest them, they can't really, like, zone that Nyx out very easily. Yeah. Man. This looks like a Slark game, doesn't it? Oh, oh the carry oh, just void. Kidding. Woo! The other Bash Lord. Wait a second. Wait a second. What? The only good time to pick Pudge is against a Faceless Void. This could be the Pudge game. This could be the Navi Pudka. Yeah. Talk to me, Brax. Pudge. Agree with me, Brax. No. <laughs> I'm not going to. Thank you, Brax. Oh. It would have to be the mid Pudge, right? Or the safe lane Pudge? I, I, yeah, I guess Probably so. not happening. I don't see that very I, I mean, Dendi could play the mid push. Yeah, a bit of a fan favorite, you know. It's a Pood fan favorite, yeah. but I don't know yeah. that it's Dunder. a game winner. Come on, he's a great support against Void. Yeah, but we're yeah, talking, about talking about playing him core. in a core. They've got Dendi. their two supports already, quite clearly. <laughs> they can do the core Jakiro, right? Get back and to then yourself. The support <laughs> yeah, it's true. It could be core Jakiro. But then it'd be something awful. <laughs> Nick's Pudge duo. Or a clock pudge duo. Doesn't sound great. Hey, that sounds great. You hook them into the stun. Double hooks. Double hooks support duo. That's ah, what got you it. in jail in the first Slacks time, Brax. Slacks is Brex. infecting me, dude. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Jesus, we've lost our minds. <laughs> so Void, Safelane, pretty much I've only seen it actually ran with Darkseer. Well, why, how come? Uh, the Iron Shell boosts him up and everything, yeah? Okay, yeah. It actually gives him damage to kill someone yeah. in Chrono. Otherwise, he kind of just hits them like five times and they walk away at like half health. Yeah. yeah. I worry for Elements, though, it could be a similar trap that they faced in the first game where they had these long cooldowns that they were reliant on for the team fights, and that's pretty much what Chronosphere is now. Isn't it 120 seconds at level one, 130 seconds? I summon long, yeah. It's yeah. quite the long time. At least yeah. this time they have something to force fights, right? Spirit Breaker can kind of just charge in, make them fight the Darkseer uh, Faceless Void combo. In the last game, they kind of just ran around the whole game, couldn't really get the fight they wanted. Maybe the Spirit Breaker helps with that. Yeah, that's true. Aww. Ursa. Navi always seems to prioritize a, some Roche combination. Jakiro and Ursa, they take Roche super easily. Or just the Ursa alone if he has the opportunity to. Why? Oh, I guess they're, they're thinking it's going to be a mid Ursa again, aren't they? Because they banned out the Wraith King but, after the Ursa was picked. Yeah. I guess they probably think that, and also Wraith King versus Void is like, yeah, it's one of the better matchups. You just, you know, if he gets I caught, he just comes back to life. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess Na'Vi could do it. I, I, I mean, I feel like Seems surely like they that. only put him mid last time because there was an Ember Spirit. Na'Vi would rather have Pycat in the safe lane on the Ursa, wouldn't they? Probably. I would imagine so. Sniper, fifth ban here from Na'Vi. Smart. Great okay. synergy with the Void. Long range damage into the Chrono. Here comes the Pudge. Pudka! Pudka! If it is a Pudge, I. You better hope they pick Pudge in me. I will lose. <laughs> I hope they do. We do not need to give Slacks any more confidence. Pudka! I mean, who else could they possibly pick? Everyone else is countered. Uh, I think you know, Invoker still... might be a fair choice here. <laughs> I, think, I think Elements is going to want Invoker, yeah. I, yeah. Invoker looks pretty good for Elements. Yeah. Cool. Navi probably wants to just pick a strong, safe mid laner that doesn't get like countered by anything. What about OD again? Is that a possibility here? I it's... thought it's decent versus the Void and stuff. But... Yeah, they're yeah. trying to do it again. Not yeah. bad at all. Spear Breaker can kind of pressure him, but you've got Astral. Breaks it up. Don't know if they want to draft the same thing twice, but it's pretty good. What's it going to be, Navi? 20 seconds. It's no! TA. Yeah, no, TA. Minus the Iron Shell, Roche. too. That was a little bit. I, I, I thought about the TA, but then I looked at I was like, oh, yeah, Darkseer with Spirit Breaker. Like, he can actually get ganked. But he now they have heroes that can actually use, utilize the whole jungle and multiple ways of taking Rush and a building hitter on top of the Jakiro. What yeah, very do true. elements take? A lot of sieging power. I like that Invoker pick. Are elements the Viper pickers? The viper. Sure the they were the razor what? pickers a few times. The razor pickers. Oh, okay. I don't like a razor. <laughs> I swear, I thought it was a pink player, but not in Dream League. Maybe a while ago. I, I just can't get my brain off anything besides Invoker. It seems like, well, it's maybe like not the perfect pick against Nyx, but just synergizes with Void very well. It's like Bad the main. best Void combo right now, right? Nothing yeah. else really looks too good. Skywrath Mage, dude. Let's bring it back to TI4. Skywrath Void combo. Hell yeah. Well, you could definitely make an argument for Elements doing something uh, unpredictable and kind of crazy here to take a win. Yes. Whole Navi out of their comfort zone. Skywrath is great against Nyx. I don't Single think Skywrath... Single Void <laughs> with a Sky... No, thank you. I don't think that lane against TA is particularly fun yeah, either. Yeah, that doesn't sound great. <laughs> Zero yeah. armor. They definitely want something that can scale. They don't want a <laughs> Void alone versus this Ursa TA kind of lineup. But they also want something that can be able to do stuff inside of... The, like, through the Chronosphere. I'd like uh, to see him just play Magnus, but... Banned. Oh, yeah. They definitely can't <laughs> thanks, take... Thanks for that. Yeah. Every game. <laughs> every, every game. Every game. One, one, game, one game it went. Probably never. It's never not going to be banned. Could Elements it? take OD for themselves? They could, but it also <laughs> still doesn't look that great. <laughs> I, nothing Nyx. looks great when you look at Nyx Assassin, right? Maybe he just plays Dragon Knight again. Boo. Yeah, the synergy yeah. with Void is, well, not the worst, I suppose. Not the worst with the, the Dragon Form. But, oh, oh, Razor! Oh, 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 oh. They take the Razor. Yes! Oh, That's no. a tough matchup for TA mid. No, yeah, but it's, it's, yeah. it's still it's razor. razor. The problem, yeah, what do you do after that? Though? Actually, the Chinese teams were winning with Razor over yes, the start, they were. weren't they? So with they Death were. Prophet, too, though. And a much different True. build. That was like Sieging Razor, yes. AC, Agonims, that kind of stuff. And it was Flame Razor, yeah. And I think we've been seeing Elements play more like Phase S and Y type Razor, and that, that just feels very underwhelming. Yeah. But wow. now he's got the Empowering Haste from the Spirit Breaker and stuff. It's a very dominant lane versus the TA. Okay. It sounds like you're you're about to predict EPG for this final game, Fog. You seem pretty excited. I'm still going to go for Na'Vi. <laughs> okay. I think that they play just much better. They have a rushing lineup. Uh, yeah. Elements does not really have a rushing lineup at all. I think that the Roshans seem to be really important and crucial into this patch to be able to close games out. So I'm going to go with Navi. Slackerino, what do you got? Who's taking the final game of the night? 
I put my badge and my gun and my hat on the elements. Come on, Mitch. Make Daddy proud. They've got Just strong, give me one. They've got strong lanes. Give me one, Mitch. They've got strong lanes. Come on, baby. <laughs> All right. Uh, I am going to stay in the Na'Vi camp, but EPG, <laughs> you never know. They could have the biggest chronos of their lives and take this game. It's our final match. Thanks for sticking with us. It's coming up now. Kill him, Mitch. Kill him. <laughs>
I imagine PyCat would have skilled up the Earthshock if he really wanted this, but there's a chance. Oh, oh, he's, they, he's they still, still got him. He's still dead. All right, that's, that's even better. Oh, no, PyCat is not going to be happy about that. Five are getting the first blood. Oh, the well played coming out, too, with the steel. Damn, Seneca with the flame. This is kind of a cool way to stop Razor from stealing so much damage. You can cog him back when he... Oh, 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 oh. Ping, oh no. All right. Ping, yeah, plus 19. Dendi, where's your CS at now? Hey, hey, nice little start there. Every little counts. Sometimes that happens. Every little counts. So Snake trying to do his best. Oh, that was neat as well, actually, uh, getting the deny there on that cog that Ping was about to bring down. But, uh, yeah, this mid lane going to be very chaotic between these uh, these two pairs at the moment. Side lanes, what do we got at the moment with Jakiro and uh, PyCat again? Um, Na'Vi opting to, to farm aggressively, but again, likewise, Elements dodge it, take Swift ending down bottom. So, uh, I mean, it feels like Na Na'Vi do go for this uh, sort of aggressive lanes in the majority of the game. Yeah, whenever they see some opening, they looks yeah. like they go for it every time. This has got to be annoying, just getting his mana burned over and over. <laughs> he has no mana to cast his static link, and all he has one more. That's about it. Uh, at the moment, CS uh, he is leading, though, ping. Yeah. Well, the static link did manage to get a little bit of an edge over Dendi. But uh, we'll see how long it lasts. Gogi on his best uh, duty to, to try and just make sure that Dendi doesn't feel too comfortable coming in with the CS. And again, oh, that's, a ju that's a juicy one. That's a nice one, 24. There we go. I like it. No so does Ping. He continues to get the good CS here in the mid lane, and he's doubling that of Dendi. So it's working out at the moment, as expected. Yeah, it is. And uh, actually, a uh, lane switch up here. High cap. They're moving down bottom. And Elements. They move Mitch down bottom as well. And uh, Mitch is uh, doing a bit of a being there. We're going to see this wrap around, in fact, onto LeBron, trying to get himself out of the cogs, but General. And Seneca do surround him. And Navi pick up the second. Very polite General there with the thanks. And Seneca complimenting me at the web play. And I see some manners here from Navi. Very, very, very gentlemanly of the, of the boards. Yeah, definitely. And very polite. Oh. Oh, he was thinking about it, Pika. But then he realized he was taking a few too many hits from the tower. Backs up as the salve. As a tango. No matter region. where Swift Ending goes this game, he has to land against something incredibly annoying. Ursa can pretty much zone him with the three swipes. Yep. Shakiro just keeps spamming him out. Like, at this rate, he's not really looking like a safe lane Voider anymore. Yeah, it's very tough for him. He has got LeBron trying his best to help him, but yeah, there's only so little you can do in terms of stopping a dragon. Breathe and fire down your neck. Gogi's there as well. And I'll bring him back up in for Swift Ending. Let me see if they can make a bit of a go to General, but it's, it's very hard to do so. There's just not a lot of damage between the He's heroes. He's so tanky on the Knicks. Rubik, Void, Spirit Breaker, not exactly the highest combination of damage between these three heroes. Yep. Away from there. We'll see, uh, see how much Mitch can do in terms of putting pressure onto Pycap with the Iron Shells. I mean, is this uh, a huge issue for the Ursa? Uh, not, it's an issue if um, if Gogi on his Spirit Breaker decides to come down. Then he's going to have some problems. But for now, he's already can farm under his tower. But this lane just doesn't feel like it, they have anything. You know, Rubik, zero damage, Void, same thing. I feel like they're uh, putting their efforts in the wrong place. Like, no matter how many support heroes they bring up here, the result is going to be the exact same. They just won't be able to fight Jakiro and Nyx. Now look at your chase down on Gogi. Look at the stun off in time. Uh, no, sorry, won't get the stun off in time as the charge is there. Mid lane, Dendi moving in with the haste. Harassing Ping back out of regen as well. Ping only has a fairy fire to rely on. So uh, Dendi, uh, even though he got knocked back at the start in this laning stage, should uh, should be allowed to catch back up here, I believe. Yeah, especially with that haste, it's going to help yeah. protect him against the link for quite some time. Oh, well, Gogi is in the base. I really hope he goes down to play with Mitch. Yeah, the, the two of them could. Lane. Yeah, certainly do something about Pycat. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Swift oh, is very Ping. fast. He, Ping is, he is speedy. Ping. Uh, he's, he's not speedy enough. No. And look at that. So now he's, he just starts popping the south. He's not worried about that razor turning around and punching him. As Ping is just sent running for his life. Third kill for Na'Vi. Five minutes in. 
going to plan in terms of the kills. The lanes, though, CS is still going there. And in fact, bottom lane, PyCat getting gone upon, but in comes Seneco. PyCat just turns. It's not going to be enough to keep him alive. PyCat does fall. Uh, Navi will punish Gogi for the play. At least these boys are incredibly mannered. My bad. You know, sometimes it is, yeah. It's uh, a, lot, a lot of nice little chatting there from them with the, uh, the chat prompts. You know, it's important to keep spirits up. It is. Don't want to get tilted. Just got to keep playing. No, no tilt, please. That was still a good move from EPG. Yeah, you know, they'll take that trade. Yep. Bringing Pycat off. That's what they need to keep doing. They need to keep playing off their strong heroes. And right now, Darkseer is pretty much their only strong hero. Uh, Razor's strong as well, but there's no real kill threat on mm -hmm. the TA for now. They can perhaps counter against form hidden counters, oh. but oh wow, this wow. is a super this is early a rush. Very early rush. I like it. Six minutes in, into the pit and RV. They have that, that Nyx Assassin, yeah, general tanking it up. This is very unexpected. They, there's no way the elements go scouting this out. Yeah. Brown boots and the mask. That's all he needs. And uh, General's actually going to leave him to it. Now he's got the stacks built up. He knows that he can finish it off. So how much XP is he going to get from this? He's going to get jumped up to, to six and a half? Right, what's your, what's no, your bet? almost six. Almost six, okay. Yeah. It's not that. I think, I don't know. That's oh, six and a half. Six and a half. Boy, bang on. Jesus. Bang on. What do I know? <laughs> Look at that. EU right, math so prevails. Six and a half minutes roche, huh? Six and a half minute roche, six and a half minute level six and a half. The sixes are turning up for Na'Vi in mid lane. Gogi and Ping. He'll put the ult. Let's get the drain onto Dendi, forcing him back with Dendi. Also the static link. Thinks about coming in again, but doesn't want to dive him underneath the ultimate. Yeah, against the tier, usually you want sentries in the lane so you can kind of control the traps so that kind of yeah. thing doesn't happen. He got slowed by like two traps on the way out. There's no Ooh, chance of running and in And I alone. think he and might this. be dead here. He's gone, though. Oh, no. Well played coming out from Biver. Yeah, Biver's loving that's it. Like, that's like the internet high five, you know? I mean, well, it's, it's either the internet high five or the internet slap in the face, depending on what game you're in. That is true. Yeah. It's, it's a hand gesture of some sort. These guys would never use it as a slap. No, they're, they they're would. teammates. Yeah, they are. You know, now there's a lot of love between these guys, I'm sure. Yep. It's a team built on love, friendship, and a strong franchise that pays the bill. That's right. That's an Aiko. How's he doing? Level five at the moment on this clock. On his way over. And uh, guarding this ring gem rune here. Now you can ensure that Dendi's able to get his hands upon it. Up top, Pycat, second on the net worth. Uh, on par with Mitch, Mitch is, uh, he's getting quite a bit done on this darks here. Yeah, he you is know, definitely. Uh, it's like said to look out for Mitch, and Mitch is, he's top of the board at the moment for Elements. That's right, he has the only kill on the Elements pro gaming right now, so 100% kill participation. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Oh, on top lane, Pycat, he's got the Enrage, will turn onto Swift, does of course have that Aegis as well. And uh, also a Sal, so it'll be fine with trading the, hit, the harass straight back onto them. Yeah, what a pain. He has that Chronos here, but he just doesn't want to use it like that. He so has the Aegis. actually getting Mitch there with the wraparound. Ping, Vinsec, and Gogi are there to try and turn. They'll actually take General out here. That was the bait, though. Elements pro gaming. They yeah. doubled their kills up. Mitch with the suicidal plays, allowing the team to set up for a kill onto General and put a bit of pressure onto this tower. He's got plus 59 damage stolen on Ping. And uh, with that in mind, they, they may just get away with this. There's going to be some TPs coming through, so it looks like Na'Vi are going to try and do the best to hold. Ping. Just back away, a mass TP's coming in. In fact, they've got to run. Pycat's coming down here as well. Snaker will get the cogs to block off Ping, hold him back into the stun, and Ping is down. So unfortunately for Elements, unable to claim the tower. Dendi, with the rotation, able to claim Ping's life. Yeah, but meanwhile, top lane, Biver's just taking the tower. Smolt yeah. has Chronosphere, but what can he really do with it here? What? He, he can try and drop it. Uh, they are bringing in mass numbers. Do they have the damage to kill him in the Chrono? That's the question. Let's check it out. He pops the Enrage. Swift Sendings is going to want to wait that out, but... Oh, oh the damage. No. Oh, no. Swift Ending, uh, it's living true to his name there. As he just got. Oh man, it wasn't pretty. Pie Cat on the big old bear. Takes him down, gets a double as well. He picks up a cow as well. And that was. Yeah. That ending was swift indeed. We'll, we'll blame the hero there. It's, you know, it's Void. It's, it's, it's a tough game. You, you, you're playing faces, Void. Well, it's true. You know, it's, it's a hard, hard hero to. 
to win like, the games, win the lanes. Definitely not a good you game know? if you're playing Faceless Void. No. Not if you're dying to an Ursa like that. Yep. Yeah. So they still have the Chrono, and I'm sure they, they wanna they wanna make a move with that so they can yeah. you know, get some more kills up on the board here. A tactical decision to hold on to it there. Exactly. He could have used it and not gotten a kill, but yeah, he has the Aegis, you know. What would well, that have done? Why would you Chrono and Ursa with Aegis? You They're know, looking why? to increase that two number. There's at the no top. reason to do so. Unless you're a madman. And uh, Swift Ending is not a madman, he's a very sensible young boy. Bottom lane, charge from Gogi, on to Bivo with the vacuum bat. Mitch there. Elbow General's Go on, in. Mitch. Surge that space cow into his grave. Mid lane. Ping and LeBron put in some pressure up at 11 for 2. 11 minutes in, 6k net worth for Natus Vincere. And oh, Seneco. That's, uh, that's your teammate. That's teamwork right there, taking the taxi. I mean, who blames who there in that situation? When you hook shot and your teammate's in the way, is it your fault for throwing the hook shot? Is it your teammate's fault for standing there? I mean, it depends. Sometimes your teammate forgets yeah. there's a clockwork on your team. For sure. And then sometimes you can just kind of just not use it there. But notice there's no chat wheel going on right now. Maybe there isn't. The, they've gone tilted. silence. Navi. They yeah. could be getting a bit toxic there. It's starting to go grim. This might be Elements' chance to bring back this game. Swift Denny's coming down. Chronosphere is available. Yep, let's see if he gets it out this time. Oh, what's this? The Aegis is gone, isn't it? Yeah, it's gone. So it's this is it right here. This They're is looking. the timing. Surge forward, Swift Ending ready to go. Stolen hook. Oh, he gets it. The four man Chrono. And do they have the damage? They get Biva, LeBron survives, and Elements are in. They'll get the bashes on Seneco and double kill for Ping. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Out. Look at that, kills doubled yet again. And the well play comes out from General. He oh, is no. impressed. That's the... Oh, is that a bad one? No, that's, that's the slap in your teammates right there. The Things are taking a turn for the worst. Oh, mid lane. Okay, he's been spotted. Mitch is on it. Mitch is on it here. And we'll force him back, and there we have it again. We credit him with the four man. It doesn't matter what team they're on. He caught four people. Just, it's definitely a four man there. Yeah, and uh, that was all down to Mitch really, just being close. And uh, Iron Shell, there we have it. Quadrupling the damage that the Void can do. Yeah, he actually deals zero damage, but thanks he to Iron Shell, these kills are possible. Yeah, Ping getting that, what's Ping building? I want to see what Ping's building this game. Is it the phase S and Y? Oh, it's not. Going I love for the it. Dragon Lance, okay. Great, you know, build yourself a Hurricane Pike, and suddenly it's not the opponent breaking the static link. It's you. It's you. Yeah. Feel you're stealing too much damage. You, you know, it's, it's not nice to steal, really, is it? Shove he him really away. Is a nice guy, huh? He is. Good old Ping. Thinks about everyone in the game. All nine other players. Perhaps a bit too nice with that uh, yeah. mentality, huh? We'll see what he does get. I mean, he gets, I mean, there is a clock in the game, there so is. it almost certainly will be the Hurricane Pike straight up. Yep. Also very good against the Ursa. Yeah. Yes, it is. So, elements are showing some signs of life here. We've got Chrono up in 30 seconds, but up top, Pycat is right-clicking Swift Ending here, but he makes it out. Well, he might be dead. This could be a feed. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh no. just oh, kidding. Oh, no. I mean, they're going to still get him, maybe. Oh, no. Enrage is too strong. Or oh, maybe not with the Nether Strike. And oh, the hook shot. Seneco comes in trying to help out. And oh, here's Mitch. Here goes Mitch. Vacuum play. Oh, no. The Ice Blast oh, though from no. Fiver holds them back. Elements. They're not going to get away with it. Ping. He's he did still. Oh, he stole a lot of damage there. Plus 161. A swift ending comes in with the Chrono on to two. Do they have the damage? No, they don't. Elements on the retreat now. Chasing down LeBron. Takes an impale to the backside. Out for two. Seneco pops the cogs out. Pings force back. Seneco survives. Now by and Dendi chasing down for more. Once again, the ice pass there. Dendi has the desolator. And this time, that well played. It's sincere. But also quick to change their attitudes. You know, they, they've always got their eyes on the prize. So they just want to win. They do. They want to win. Get that money in the bank. Thousand dollars a game. That's a lot of moolah. Then the uh, quite far ahead now. 
8.3k. Yes. Very far ahead now. Bling Dagger and Desolator 15 minutes in for the Templar Assassin. Wow. Yeah. Wow, indeed. That's, uh, yes, that's uh, some speedy, speedy time. I probably I feel like one of the fastest I've seen in a while. Actually. 15 minutes on those two items. Incredibly good. farmed. And he was dueling mid lane against a Razor as well. He was. Not the best scenario for a Templar Assassin. He did not give two hoots about that lane. And oh, in the middle, Seneco comes across here. But Mitch drops the wall. And Seneco has to run. It's too much. Mitch's power omnipresent. And now surging ping. Great Just setup. The dog for a while. And he has got 112 damage stolen. But Dendi, he doesn't need to steal damage when he's got. Oh, maybe he does. He's actually getting stunned up here. The ice pass, they cross in the middle. They meet together. Both teams lose a player. It's going to be Denny go down. And Mitch! Oh, he comes in with a four-man vacuum. But it only just brings them closer to Gogi. Mitch says thank you. Did you see what he did last game on the Warlock? Take his life, please. And now Mitch, Ice Path, holds him back. He soul rings. It doesn't do nothing. General gives him the thanks. Swift ending. He hasn't got the credit. Oh, he oh, tried no. to time walk, but he couldn't jump far enough. He couldn't get up to the high ground. He's stuck in the ice Oh, this time, though. In the cogs. Into the cogs. Swift ending is dead. 20 to 5. 60 minutes in. And oh, General with the BM drum pickup. I love it. Why is it a BM drum pickup? I don't know. It's drums, really. It's a boring eye, isn't it? That's true. It's not great. All right, so unfortunate there. Swift missed the, uh, the cliff there on yeah. the jump, but. You know what? He has Chrono now. Now they can he make does. big things happen. Imagine if there was a Chrono What's the here point on in, top of that. Yeah, there's no point in being, in, in being alive if he hasn't got Chrono. And he is uh, fourth on the network board from the bottom. Okay, yeah. But that was uh, that was an offlane void as uh, Mitch, the true carry here on the dark scene. And that connect with ping in value at the moment. Yep, number two on his team right now. Yeah. Come on, come on, boys. It's only 17 minutes in as well. You know, this is a game that is not nearing the end. It's only the beginning. Well, we saw great things from that four-man chrono earlier. Perhaps if we can get some more of those, they can actually start getting some kills. Oh, here. and here we go. Dendi's been caught out. Elements find him. And oh, the chronosphere from Swift ending. It gets one. And in fact, they have to cancel TPs. Na'Vi say, oh my goodness. Mitch and the boys are in the neighborhood. We're out of there. Seneco trying to find ping, but he's stealing damage. And Elements, they're ready to turn. They'll look towards Seneco. Mitch, Soul Rings, pops the mech, and he drags him back. Mitch there with the skill shots. 360 vacuum. Better than a Dyson. And into the middle lane they go. Tier one down. Three dead on Na'Vi. Are Na'Vi crumbling just like that? And where's the well played? Where's the there. where's the thanks? I'm not seeing any of it. It's gone quiet again in Navi's camp. And he's nearly got the Vladimir's. Swift ending. That's gonna be the big tie turner here. Stacking up that armor for his team against Templar Assassin and Ursa. Tons of physical damage. I like this as well from Gogi. I think he's he's queued up the Sanja. I'm hoping he's gonna get the Halberd on the Spirit Breaker. Dendi is in the pit with Pie Cat. There is no Chrono. Not much that they could do here. Yeah, but looks like there's not a whole lot they can do to contest this right now, especially oh, with Oh, unless they the get invis. it with the Invis ping. Oh my goodness, oh, is oh, he gonna know. think it? That's still there, the Aegis is on the ground, but Dendi grabs it. He will pick it up. He turns towards Ping, takes down the Razor Gogi in the midst of it all, though, bringing Na'Vi down low. They'll lose Pika. They'll lose the Aegis. LeBron's being chased down by Seneco. Gogi charges out of the pit, turns towards Biva, but Dendi's in with a quick Desolator hit. Still a good fight for Na'Vi. Yo, know, that's without Chronosphere. Imagine if they had it there. These fights can be even better. A million times better. It's all about Swift and the Scribes. How is he doing on it? He's out of mana. He's about to, he finished the blood. Did he finish the blood? He's got the blood. It's done. There we go. There we go. Vladimir's complete. Looking for the Manta Star next. Ten seconds for Chronos. Now you better be very careful. Very careful. They've got to be. And how's Mitch doing? What do we got? Progress for Mitch? Oh, we're just going to see the replay. So look at this there. Just really nice. Uh, like the vacuum wall from Mitch. 
And they do kill Pika. Yeah, fantastic. You know, Pika is not, and Rage is not enough. Goki just in the midst of it all with the Iron Shell on him from Mitch. And they get the Aegis kill too on Dendi. Yeah. So, I love it. actually not a bad fight at all. Considering the situation. Yeah, of course, it would have been even better if they could pick up the Aegis there, but, you know, can't get greedy, right? Can't ask for too much. Yep. Sometimes it just doesn't happen. Ping nearly finishing the Hurricane Pike. We'll see what sort of plays he can come out with that. Hopefully not the Static Link Hurricane Pike play, but Ping wouldn't do that. Ping would not do that. And uh, it is going to be the uh, the Heaven's Halberd going for Gogi, and they smoke up. They've got the they've got the ults. They have the ultimates. They're it. ready to go. General, that's not the target they want. They want something bigger. Will they get it? They're surrounding the top tier one. Nothing in the area just quite yet. They're, they're watching that tier one. They're making sure he doesn't move a step. What would they do if it moved? Wow. I mean, they would certainly do something. Look at these guys. They're not They're not ready to mess about. Bottom tower they're watching that tower. This is looking like my, my elementary school experience. Five dudes just ready to beat me up. Elementary pro gaming. That's the name, Rax. Bottom lane. An RV. Take a tier one. And they get more out of this. Oh, see, they're pushing down the tier two. See what the move is going to be from Elements. They're coming back across the map. See what they can find. They are smoked up, but Navi, they're going back to defend. They're actually trying to set up here on top of Swift Ending. He's got a chrono though. You don't want to mess with this man. And Swift Ending. He knows. He knows everything. He's he gone. sees all. He's got the map hack installed. He knows what's going on. He's out. Yeah, no, but in all seriousness, good boarding from elements around the area. After they did go for that smoke, didn't get kills. Managed to get some ward out. You know, EPG, they just want to fight. Chrono is up, but Navi aren't giving them a fight. Not at all. Oh, we got some angry pings coming out here. Getting pretty frustrated here. Yeah, they get the deal ward. Now we know what's up. Let's see what they do now. General ready to lead the way. Oh. Blocking the road. Non shot oh. pass. What's going on there? This is just like General, don't do it. <laughs> is it really awkward? Oh, oh no. Oh, yeah. Trap slow. Goki needs backup. He needs it now. Team, Mitch, where are you? Abandoned. And Mitch, he doesn't say a word. <laughs> Just silence. As he pushes out the bottom lane. No need to acknowledge the failure of the weak, Mitch says. Mitch has his own things to do. He's acquiring currency. Oh, we'll see uh, what the plan is now. Elements have three down bottom. Navi are taking a tier two in the middle lane. Uh, if Elements can get some sort of a trade down here. Yeah, that would definitely be ideal, but Navi just pushed so much faster than them right now. Yeah, they do, with this Deso and such. Blink Diffusal on uh, Pycap. Uh, has that cheese still in his pocket. Swift ending being brought down here to the bottom lane. Sentry dropped. This is their spot, they're just waiting. Oh, and they found oh. General. Oh, Swift. What's he going to do? He's this. thinking about this. Starts to tickle away at General. He's now going to look towards Pika, and there he gets it. The Chrono's down. Sets up beautifully for the Jakiro, who lays down the Ice Path. Quick realization from Swift that that Dragon is not on his team as he starts to run. They've already lost Ping as Dendi's picked off the Razor from the backside. Mitch, he's trying to run, get himself away, but General's there on the Nyx Assassin, picks him up. And two dead on elements, potentially more. Dendi continuing to chase, jump forward, and Melt Strike right between the eyeballs of the Space Cow. And a fourth down on elements. It's a painful fight. But elements know that you know, that's only, uh, you know, if you if you lose the fight, doesn't mean you've lost the war. The game is still very early. 24 minutes in, their base is still pretty healthy. We've got some positivity coming back from General now. Ah, it's nice. There well you go. Played. And yeah, Animus just realizing slight loss in the early game here. Definitely still fixable. That's uh, what we call the minor setback. It is. You know, they're all alive now. They can resume fighting. The tact, they'll, they'll let this Rax go. As, uh, well, maybe they can get in 
How long to the chronosphere? It's probably quite a long time, isn't it? Yeah, it's looking like about a minute. It's about a minute. Seconds. Ping tries to lead forward. Oh, you got the charge from Gogi. This could be big for Elements. Looking for General, but always oh, got the Vendetta Spike Carapace. Pycat comes back in. Now I'm going to see Ping try. He's looking for a target. Has he already used the static link? He can't see the Oh, bitch! Oh, he gets the four-man vacuum into General turning around with the two-man stun. And now Elements on the way out. Mitch the takes buyback. a strike from they Dendi. They want to fight? Uh, this buyback from Gogi could be incredibly next level. And it looks to be it. Charge on to Dendi. Dendi, oh! I get shoved out of the charge there. Who shoved him? Nick's did. Beautiful play from General. Shoves Gogi out of charging forward. No, Suneko waltzes back in. We'll get held back by the stolen stun. Ping in the ice path. Hurricane Pike coming to use there as he's on the retreat. They need to buy time. 15 seconds before Mitch is back. They okay. The chrono. Three man chrono into the. Oh no, I haven't got any damage. I'm a void. The ice path comes out from Navi. General <laughs> stays alive. And Ping is trying to steal some damage. But uh, Pycat just turns and hits back. And Ping is dead. But it's fine. Swift ending has buyback. No, they kept Navi Mitch. outside of the base. Mitch is alive with ultimate. Just accidental GG here from Gogi. As uh, there it is. Uh, the, yeah. The, okay. Gogi's okay. DC. Gogi's done. Gogi's done. Well, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Navi with a uh, a a very tough victory there in game two. It was uh, it was tough. You know, that Roshan at like six minutes, that was pretty surprising. The six minute row, I think, you know, if that six minute Roshan didn't happen, Elements would have had this really. That was, I mean,